as John said, one time we have the same hardware and we have the same software, but we have a different programming. So the different aspects of yoga resonate with us in a different ways because we're different. So for me, my anchor is mantra. For John, it's also mantra, but it's a counted method because he loves to count, he loves to focus, he can get into that. And for me, it's the mantra which I can sing and to which can give me a realization of, of where I am, where I'm going, what is this place. And it also resonates with my feminine self. So this is a mantra that I wanted to present to you, which is very special for John and I. I'll sing it to you first, and now will speak about what it actually means to me. And then we will do it also together. Yuyam vayam vayam yuyam Itiasit matira vayu Kim chatam maduna yena Yuyam yuyam vayam vayam So some mantras which we hear can be on the surface of our mind for a long time and we don't have any connection with them. And then something has to happen in our life, then we actually connect to it and we realize that there is something that I remember, some words in Sanskrit that talk to me. And this was one of the mantras that came to me lately. But with Yuyam Vayam, there was something that I heard for the first time from Thailandrum. And my, I didn't know why, but it just soaked into, into me completely, just talked to me. And Thai also shared some story about that that became very special. So he has a daughter, and when the daughter was small, about two, he was singing her mantra. So it was like a reading meditation. They had a singing meditation. And one of the mantras was Yuyam Vayam. And after one of the sessions that they sang, suddenly his daughter started to be a bit kind of emotional. She started to feel something and then said, Daddy, do you feel sometimes that you want to come back to mommy's tummy? So even she didn't know the meaning because Ty never told her about that, but because she doesn't have any filters, she's in theta state, she could just resonate with that. So from one side, she felt a connection and she felt the, the separation. And this is what exactly this mantra is talking about. That you were me and I was you. Thus, once it was that we were one. But what that has happened now, that by you are you and I am I. So on the very basic level. For example, now we had a meeting, we created, we came as a separate individual people in that space, especially that shala, yeah, that shala connects all of us. And we're creating the energy together. No matter who's a teacher, who's a student, it is our space now. And then the time will pass and we'll have to leave and we're going to remember all these things like what happened today in the grass and that Santiago was playing on the sitar and Ivan was sitting with, with him and listening and we also were connecting to them. So we were create all that thread of creations of, of connection between us are just happening all the time. And one of the most beautiful thing I saw, I, I heard, after I, this mantra came to my life and I realized that, yes, this is about that. I have a friend who has a daughter, like Melanie, more or less at the same age. 
And she said that once when she was feeding her, she felt that she want her Inca, her daughter, to come back. She want her back. She doesn't want to feel separable because every day she's growing, she's separating a bit more, a bit more, a little millimeters, but she getting far from her. So from one side, when probably I talk about that, it became a bit disturbing, yeah, because I'm talking about something sad. But I think the separation always reminds us about the connection. So if we miss something, it means there is something from to what we're connected. So on a bigger level, we're connected to a Purusha and we're many, many little individual Purushas. And now we're kind of disconnected, but there is a threat. There is this connection. And I think there's one painful thing also, because we can be separated through our mind stories, through our thinking body so much. I have a friend, Miho, he's a yogi, he's a very good yogi, and he has a very beautiful, strong heart. But he also has a very, very busy mind. And he's in love with Ola, this is his wife, and he can't express the feelings to her. She knows how much he loves her, but for every day he can't say he loves her because he's so busy with things. He feel it, but he can't express it so much that it makes her feel it and miss that connection that she just wanted to feel it on a different level. And when he separates from her physically, then this separation creates this hole and he called and then he said, Ola, I love you so much. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't tell you when I'm around. I'm so busy. So also that realization gives Opportunities that there is always something to fight for, to create a space, to create a bigger connection, to don't let our thoughts to take over. I also loved one story of Tina Kinsberg. She once said that when, for example, she wants to kiss Jack and she's on the way, but then she started to hear children and then the kettle is boiling and then something else is happening and then she's already kissing Jack. But the moment is lost. She lost the moment, so the act happened. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> you too. Go, go, hold and ah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I got you. Like in a movie. So the moment has happened, but it's gone because nothing happened. Because this chit frit, this all that took real feeling in between us. And when I always, when I sing that mantra, I have this this kind of a sweet pain in the heart, and it reminds me that there is a connection. So that's why I really wanted to. Share it with you. <laughs> We're gonna sing now. <laughs> yeah. So we will go little by little and then sing it together. You yam ba yam. You yam ba yam. Ba yam you yam. Matiravayo Matiravayo Kinjatam Kinjatam Adunayena Adunayena Yuyam 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 Vayam, 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 vayam. Yuyam, 
Vayam Vayam Yuyam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Iti Asit Matiravayo Iti Asit Matiravayo Kinjatam Adunayena Yuyam 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 Vayam 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 Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Iti asit matiravayo Iti asit matiravayo Kinjatam adunayena Kinjatam adunayena Yuyam, yuyam Yuyam, yuyam Vayam, 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 together. Yuyam, vayam, vayam, yuyam, iti asit matiravayo, kinjatam adunayena, yuyam, Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Iti Asit Matiravayo Kinjatam Adunayena Yuyam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Iti Asit Matiravayo Kinjatam Adunayena Yuyam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Yuyam Iti Asit Matiravayo Kinjatam Adunayena Yuyam Yuyam Vayam Vayam Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So now when John was talking about the wave and the ocean, it does not remind about the separation and connection that we're all water, but we just identify with our separate self, with our individual self. And when we remind the mantra words, we can connect back to who we really are. So you can take this mantra and then see what, how it really resonates in your life because when we're starting to hold the mantra, it starts to bring us realization. This is how it works in my life. Starting to talk to you, starting to give you the information because it's a coded message, but it's so strong. It's starting to be part of you. And this is what's so beautiful about the mantra. 
for many years I was I was singing mantra, but I didn't know the meaning. And only after some time, when I was really more connected to myself, I started to understand how deep is the meaning that is really locked, and it's in my inner power to unlock the information, to see deeper, to understand more. And this is only one aspect of a yoga, but for some of you it might be a very important one at starting to talk with you and communicate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.